Welcome to No Man's Sky Waypoint. Today's video will be tips and tricks. The first one is going to be a boost jump. So if you press Shift W and then press Q and then tap Spacebar immediately after Q, you'll do a jump and fly through the air. A lot faster way of moving around. Okay, so if we go in caves, we can get a bunch of supplies built up, and that's going to be the key to the beginning. Don't don't rush, build supplies up. Don't use your oxygen and your sodium in the beginning. Craft ion batteries and life support gel instead. It's a great idea. The next one is going to be launch fuel. So make sure you have launch fuel in your ship every time you land on a planet. That way, if you run far away, you can just get your ship right to you, have it fly right to you, and it'll save you a bunch of time, keep you from having to run all the way back to it. Next thing is, in the beginning, definitely scan everything and get everything uploaded once you get the anomaly unlocked because it will give you a bunch of nanites. So the more you turn in, the better off you're going to be. So take your time and scan all of it. Okay, the next one is asteroids. Asteroids is a great way to get some resources that you cannot obtain from the ground on planets. You get pulse engine, fuel right there, gold, silver, all kinds of stuff. So if you can't find something, chances are you're going to find it in space as far as like elements go. So definitely check out the asteroids, get a little bit built up. You will need some in some of the quests. Learn your space station. Learn where everything's at on it. Don't be afraid to interact with everything. Um, get inventory upgrades, because that's definitely a thing in the beginning. You don't have a lot of it. Don't have any storage containers. Check out both trade terminals. There's one on each side. Do it. It's worth it. Take interact with the NPCs. Certain ones will be definitely worth your time. Like the one right in front of me is a traveler. These will give you the portal glyphs uh, not all of them, you'll get one portal with per traveler, which is 100 nanites, but it is worth talking to the NPCs and see what, what they are, what they do. Um, again, a lot of people want to rush through it. Don't rush. Get everything explored and interact with things that you can just to see what they're all about, what they can do. This game can be very repetitive if you let it. Um, just know there is a ton of content in this game. Um, Especially once you get the quest line done, there's a, a bunch of things you can do. There's things you can purchase for your freighter to set up. It, it's really awesome. Check for upgrades on the space stations for your ship. Multi-tool. Multi All right, since we're talking about upgrades, you have what you call the supercharged slots right here. You can see those different colored ones. If you put, like, let's say hyperdrive, because that's what I'm doing right here. If you put hyperdrive upgrades right next to the hyperdrive in those supercharged slots it will increase the effectiveness effectiveness of that particular modular and it'll increase the output um, and just because you put it right next to it doesn't mean that's going to be the best spot for it move it around you can see that i do squeeze out a little bit more with the same three modulars or the same two modulars rather by moving them in different places. So don't be afraid to move them. It doesn't cost anything. All right, so difficulty setting. You can go in and change what you can get from the trade terminals, like oxygen and sodium. You used to be able to buy from trade terminals. As a waypoint, they remove those. You can change how, how hard the sentinels are. You can change a bunch of different things in there if it just seems too easy for you. Don't be afraid to go in there and mess with that. It's in the game that you so you can mess with it. The last thing I will mention, the last thing I want to mention is the freighter. Once you're warping around using your hyperdrive, you will encounter a freighter battle where you gotta save the freighter from pirates. The first one, I would encourage you to just accept payment. Don't accept the actual ship. It will be free. You won't want one, but wait for the second encounter and get that. If you wanna know how to get an S-Class freighter, please check out my freighter guide. It will show you how to get an S-Class freighter it'll show you how to get the one you want so please go watch that thank you for watching have a great day